Hey everybody, welcome back to Gun Tote Minnesotan. My name is Andrew and I have the privilege of telling you about this 22 inch 6.5 Creedmoor from Uinta Precision. This is a UP10 and this platform is a bolt action rifle, but it does sit on basically like an AR-10 lower. Now this rifle and I have really gotten to know each other well in the last month or so. I've shot it quite a bit at 1,000, quite a bit at 600, and now I spent an entire day shooting it at a mile. And I've been using it as an optics host to switch out different optics and kind of see what I like better than others. I have exhausted my ammo supply. Um, man, I must have shot. I shot so much that I had to clean my rifle twice, and I clean every 200 rounds. And so I shot hundreds of rounds. I would cool this off, I'd switch to another gun and come back to it. I've shot so much through this thing and I have a lot to say about it, but I'm gonna to try to be concise for this very first video. I have several more videos that are gonna be coming out about this because I'm sure there'll be questions, but I wanna tell you my initial impressions of the rifle. Break that down, maybe show a little bit of B-roll and then uh, I'll know in the future what I didn't cover here or what comments and questions you have. I'll cover that in follow-up videos. First of all, 22 inches is absolutely enough to get the velocity I needed. I just went four for five at a mile, and that was with this budget optic. This is a sub $1,000 optic. Now I was running a $2,000 optic on it before and almost $3,000 optic before that. As I said, I've been using it as an optics host, I've been switching stuff around, but you really can't, um, sacrifice on two things for sure when you're shooting at a mile or further you need a really good rifle and you need really good ammo now the optic is the one that i'm most flexible on you could shoot a pretty average optic really far as long as you know what you're doing you have good data good ammo and a good rifle but if you don't have a good rifle it doesn't matter what kind of ammo have you have it doesn't matter what kind of optic you have everything is kaput at that point it just doesn't do anything for you and so now that I've spent a lot of time, the last three times that I've shot at a mile, I'm seeing how important a good barrel is. And this 22 inch absolutely is enough to get good velocity. I'm getting great standard deviations out of everything I have. And after putting this brake on there, this is just a Yankee Hill brake. It's really nothing special. In some ways it might even be detrimental for long range in particular, but it takes a little bit of bite out of a 6.5, just a touch out of 6.5 and it allows me to keep it as flat as possible for a long time. Now I have plenty of time at a mile to see where those rounds are landing and get follow-up shots and that sort of thing, but I wanna keep it as flat as possible, so I did decide to put that on there. I have run a silencer on here several times. My only problem with that today was Mirage. I was getting a lot, a lot, a lot of, of barrel Mirage and silencer Mirage, so I decided to take that off, just go back to the break for today because I really wanted to know how reliable is this rifle system and that's down to a few things. Am I comfortable behind it? And my answer to that is absolutely. I was very comfortable. If you're familiar with the, you know, the operations of an AR, uh, the manual of arms is the same basically with this, except for you have a bolt action. I'm gonna go ahead and drop that mag out. This is one of the mags it comes with. It's an Amend 2 mag made in USA. So you've got just a bolt action but it feels very much like an AR, which is great for me because I'm a big person and I'm allowed to basically customize this however I need to and get it comfortable. And that's exactly what I did. So I can get the length of pull with the uh, mag pull that they threw on here, correct. I can get the cheek to the right height. I do have a 20 MOA base on my scope. So it elevates it just a touch on top of this rail. And I want to have my cheek exactly where it's comfortable so I can just get clean follow-up shots. It's a little bit more important for a thousand yards and in with faster impacts. Um, the actual, like I said, manual of arms and the action itself, it's awesome. It's not going to be like your $4,000 Defiance action where it's just smooth and there's barely any pressure. It's not really going for that because again, it's using a totally different kind of bolt than you would with those ty types of bolt actions. One of the benefits of this is this thing can extract anything. <laughs> I, had, I had some of the worst looking ammo that I've ever run through a gun. And I was like, well, as long as I don't have a suppressor on here, and as long as it's not gonna gum up the actual rifling and, and ruin my barrel, I'll go ahead and throw this down. And if it gets kind of caught up because of the bad shoulders or whatever, we're gonna see if this can extract. And this thing can grab onto any casing. It's kind of like an AR as it grabs on and it just rips them out of the chamber. Um, I've cleaned this barrel multiple times today because I've shot so much. 
and the bolt face itself is still looking really good. I don't see any issues with it. I have no problems with this rifle. All right, I have my Trace Advanced 4 to 24 on a Uinta Precision 6.5. And I'm gonna dial 10 and hold four. That should get us really close. And then I'm gonna have to guess on windage. Here we go, make sure recording looks good. Okay. Pretty close. Needed to favor the right edge of the target there. I've got a piece of brass stuck. <sighs> See if we can lock this one on there. It's kind of an ugly looking piece of brass. had a nice ring. Send another one just like that. That's back to back hits at a mile with my Uinta Precision and the Discovery Optics 6 to 36 XED. See if we can make it three for three now that I've been blabbing. <laughs> Guys, I'm telling you, if these optics were no good, if this rifle was not consistent, there's not a good chance that I'd be going um, three for three at 1780. But it's a consistent system and I'm actually really happy with the image I'm getting. Light collection is awesome right now and the reticle is super usable. It's a good reticle. Um, shooting decent ammo for sure. These are Federal Burger Hybrid 140s, so they're not even heavy. These are not um, these are light for the distance that I'm shooting, but I'm pretty happy with the performance going three for three. Let's just let's finish this out. Let's see if I can get a couple more hits on there. That's four for four, and ah, <laughs> little, little too windy. That was four for five at a little past a mile with the Uinta Precision and uh, this Discovery Optics XED six to thirty six. I'm pretty happy with that performance. One thing I was concerned about when I first got this rifle is I thought, okay, I'm used to shooting 10 ounce triggers, eight ounce triggers. How well am I gonna be able to do at a mile and beyond 
with a trigger that's, you know, right around three pounds? And the answer is almost as good. Not perfect, but almost as good as that eight ounce trigger. This is a really nice lightweight, especially for an AR style platform, but crisp trigger. The trigger face on it is wide enough. I can really get the print of my finger on there. And because of the ergonomics, I'm able to be very comfortable on the rifle. And I just don't find anything about it that leaves me wanting. I think it's a fantastic rifle. The fact that it can run the 20 rounders and the 10 rounders, I can throw on uh, Arca rail, which is something important to me. So I can get my bipod on there and then also tripod it whenever I want. There's a lot of prairie dogs right over here. There's just so much versatility, and that's one of the things that we love about our ARs, and now I can love it about this gun. Now, why would I go with this gun instead of an AR? Precision. That would be my opinion about this. This thing shoots tight. I mean, really, really tight. I'm very impressed at the lockup and the tension there. It's very appropriate, and I'm finding that at 100 yards, I'm getting about half inch groups to three quarter inch groups with a flyer. That's with the flyer. So I think a competent shooter can do even a little better than me probably if you're running good ammo or hand loads. But I wanna keep it practical. If you're running just good ammo off the shelf, I found that Hornady 147 grainers were working well, as well as Federal uh, Burger Hybrid Match. The 130s and the 140s both just shot insanely well out of this barrel. So it's not super ammo picky. I think the recoil impulse is not bad. It's not a super heavy rifle compared to my like 22, 23 pound rifles. But the nice thing about that is I'll actually take this with me and walk around with it a little bit versus one of my PRS rifles that's just a little bit too cumbersome. So I find a lot that's valuable about these. If you wanna know more about it, would you comment down in the comment section so I know where to go in my next video, what you wanna know about it. Maybe that's velocities, or you wanna see more of those groups, or you just wanna see an up close to some of the parts and the internals, I'd love to tell you more about that. But in the meantime, this is the gun. It's basically stock with the exception of the optic, a bubble level, a bipod, Sunway Photo Arca Rail, and that brake on the end. Next time you see it, there will be a couple changes, starting with an Anarchy Outdoors pistol grip, because that's just something I like to run.